Good morning to everyone. Today we are going to explain about the case study 2 from human computer interaction subject. My name is Agirashini, daughter of Manimaran. My metric card number is 01DT2201067. My name is Igneshwari Selvam and my metric number is 01DT20F1074. My name is Yugendran. My metrics number is 01DT20F1080. The content of the video are Interaction, Universal Design Principle, Conclusion and References. The wearable computing device that we choose is Smartwatch. Prototype for Smartwatch. This is the front view of our Smartwatch where we can find the digital crown or home button, microphone and side button and also OLED screen. This is the back view of our smartwatch where we can find the magnetic charger and the four type of sensor, which is electrical heart sensor, blood oxygen sensor, ambient light sensor, and lastly, third generation optical heart sensor. So now we are going to uh, look at the interface uh, that's going to be on the smartwatch. So this is the home screen that's going to be uh, in front of your smartwatch whenever you open it. And the first will be uh, battery percentage on your top right. Uh, this uh, shows how, how many battery percentages that are left in your smartwatch. And the next one is uh, the weather. So as you guys can see, there is 35 Celsius, for example. So you guys can see how hot the weather around you is all the time. The third one is the time, obviously for a smartwatch, the time is so important. So we kept it in the middle. And the next one is the sleep time. The sleep time is uh, unique because uh, the circle uh, shape shows how, how long you have slept and uh, how much uh, sleep that you need every day and it shows you did you uh, surpass the sleeping time or not the next one will be the music so it shows whether the music is playing on your uh, smartphone with uh, your smartwatch pad in or not so it's a pretty cool feature and the next one is a uh, decibel meter decibel meter is a uh, unique because uh, whenever you use your headphone or earphones it shows you how many decibels that are going inside your ears uh, for certain decibels that are uh, dangerous so it shows when you reach the danger limit it's pretty helpful for every users and the last one is activity meter this is uh, very helpful for people that want to uh, that makes exercise uh, part of their lives because as you guys can see uh, there is three circles and one will be calorie uh, intake second will be uh, the total amount of calories burned and the third one will be the steps uh, you walk uh, in a day so it shows you in the home screen that how much uh, steps you have walked and how much calories you have burned so it's um, a very helpful future that we have implemented so now look at uh, let's look at the homes uh, this is the interface that you you will see right after opening the home screen there is a lot of functions that we have uh, put in front of the screen so you can get as much detail as you can. So the first one will be a uh, calendar. You guys can set your uh, upcoming events and all. The second one is a uh, camera shutter button. This is for uh, taking pictures from your smartphone through your smartwatch. So whenever you press a button here, uh, the picture uh, in your smartwatch uh, smartphone will be taken the third one is uh, messages messages that you receive from your smartphone you can see from here too and the next one is call so 
uh, whenever you want to call someone, you can call from right here uh, when using your Bluetooth earphones and such. The next one will be a uh, stopwatch. This is, yes, literally stopwatch. So the next one will be a uh, messenger. This one is uh, for iMessages uh, and other messaging services. Next one will be video player. Video player is uh, to play the videos that you have in your smartwatch, uh, smartphone. So you can uh, either watch from your smartphone or watch right here. Next one will be photos that you have in your smartphone. You guys can uh, save your smartphone uh, pictures right here also because we have around uh, 8 GB of storage in the smartwatch itself. The next one will be uh, clock where you can set your alarm and uh, every other basic things regarding time and such. Next will be uh, settings to control uh, everything regarding your smartwatch. Then we have uh, exercises. Here you can customize whatever exercise that you want to do uh, in a certain day. <clears throat> and it also uh, tracks your calorie that you have burnt by exercising. Next will be uh, activities. This is the place where you can see how much uh, steps you have walked and how much calories you have burned and everything regarding your health and uh, your, your healthy lifestyle depends here. And uh, next one will be Safari. Safari is to browse the internet, uh, whether you have the cellular version of the smartwatch, you can uh, surf the internet right away because you have the SIM card. Uh, if you have the Wi-Fi, uh, variant of the smartwatch you can you have to connect your in uh, smartwatch through your smartphone so you can surf your internet right here next we have music uh, like i said music you can play the music right here when you have your bluetooth earphone set next will be maps to navigate your way wherever you are going the last, uh, last one will be weather, to check uh, what's the weather it's like. Yeah. So we have implemented several uh, principles when designing this smartwatch. The first one is equitable use. Uh, what is uh, equitable use is, uh, it provides the same means for all users, identical whenever possible, or equivalent when not. Uh, this principle avoids segregating or stigmatizing any users. Uh, like, what do we mean by uh, stigmatizing is, this is available for all kinds of users. Uh, doesn't matter if it's a small child or you're a senior citizen, you can use it. Uh, doesn't matter what age you are in. So the example is our smartwatch comes with various type of options, storage, uh, storage wise, design wise, and also color wise. Next is uh, we were even able to design the smartwatch to take an independent cellular card inside or uh, the Wi-Fi variant when it needed. The second universal design principle are perceptible information. Our smartwatch communicates necessary information effectively to the owner, regardless of ambient condition or the user's sensory abilities. As a result, we are able to produce a smartwatch with built-in microphone and independent speakers so that the device could hear the owner's needs and respond with accuracy via the CDF, the artificial intelligent technology. Additionally, we build the interface to have meaningful icons for certain apps, so you can always understand what the app is about by just looking at the icon, regardless of what language you speak or if you can read the text. The third universal design principle is low physical effort. 
The design can be used efficiently and comfortably with a minimum of fatigue. As our smartwatch display is made of an OLED screen, we were able to incorporate an always-on display technology. In other words, the time will be displayed on the watch at the minimum brightness level without consuming the battery. Raising the wrist also enables the user to see more information on the screen in much brighter light. In conclusion, a wearable computing device is a small and light enough to be worn on one's body without discomfort. We choose smartwatch as our wearable computing device in case study two. Smartwatch has many useful functions and two smartwatch has many useful functions, two and universal design principles such as equitable use, perceptible information, and low physical effort and others. These are the websites we use to use for collect information. www.apple.com and imagesketch.com. That's all from us. Thank you.